Hey folks, how's it going? So, here we are, another video, another video, another day. Uh, got something to say, I have something I have to say, and that is thank you. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe this. I have 4,000 followers. Mind-blowing stuff. It, 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 it's, I gotta be honest with you guys, I am absolutely shocked. Uh, Wow, when I started doing this, I wanted to do it because I needed something to do. Uh, yes, that amazing thing that happened, you know, in the world that happened and we didn't have anything to do. So I thought oh, I'll sit down and draw and send these out and maybe a couple of people in the world will look at them and go, oh, okay, that's nice, that's cool. Um, and then you have 4,000 subscribers. Wow, it's, it, it is absolutely mind boggling. So I appreciate you guys to the nth degree. Um, it's fun. Uh, you get feedback. Um, it's, it's very heartwarming, to be honest. Um, some of the stuff that people say, you know, or when I was doing my, uh, I did my one on neurographics and how many people of that had seemed to help. Uh, 50,000 views on my neurographic art. Uh, and I'm just this guy, you know, I'm not anybody special. Uh, I do my artwork. I want people to be inspired. I want people to hopefully enjoy what they're seeing. Um, and that's what, you know, another video like today is about. Um, I've really had a good time with this. Uh, I've already done one video that has the same uh, look in it, but uh, I did wound up five altogether. Uh, there's something special that I hid in every painting for you guys to find out and figure out. Let me know if you figured it out. Um, and then uh, that's it. But guys, uh, sit back, enjoy, relax, have a great day. Uh, and again, thank you so much for 4,000 subscribers. It's crazy. Uh, Guys, oh, uh, if you can also pop over to uh, Snakes and Coffee, which is my other YouTube channel, and subscribe the heck out of that too, because guys, uh, being able to educate people about our native species, or just about animals in general, is, is beautiful, and uh, it's fun, and so being able to do art and work with animals is, I'm a lucky guy, I'm a really lucky guy. So anyways, this is going on too long. Watch the, watch the video, watch the video, okay? Uh, likes, blah, blah, blah. You know what we're talking about. Hey, guys. So, <clears throat> I had just finished doing a video uh, where basically I built kind of like a little uh, building or a plant, a working little area, right, that um, uh, I really enjoyed, and it was very, very relaxing. Now... The uh, reason I did it was because I had actually bought these watercolor markers and I wanted to show off the watercolor markers that I had gotten and uh, I think the great deal that I got out of the situation and how much fun they were. But the other thing too was the relaxation aspect of it. Um, I really enjoyed it. I've done some videos with uh, the, uh, uh, the blah, 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 what's the word I'm looking for, babe? No, the other thing that I've done to help you relax. Oh, neurographic. Neurographic. Neurographic art. <laughs> Thanks, babe. All right. So, neurographic art. See, uh, it's, it's very good, but it doesn't help your memory. Uh, so, anyways, the minute I go to say a word that I need to use, that's always a kind of thing that happens. You know, you blank out, right? Uh, so, anyways, as I was saying was that I have done the neurographic art and it is amazing. It's fun. You relax. You're really having a good time while you're doing it. This does that for me too. I gotta be honest. My little squares and just building and building, kind of like uh, building with uh, Lego blocks. Or uh, there used to be a Tinker Toy, I think it was called, and you got these wooden sticks, and then there would be circle ones that you could stick the sticks into and blocks. And you could build. Now, the thing with that is that you could just build. Like, you didn't have to um, build anything particular. And uh, you could make it really tall or really long. Whatever you wanted. Uh, the same with Lego blocks, too, right? They have that, that little aspect about them that, you know, you build and you build. Uh, and I 
always enjoyed that. And doing this really became something that I relaxed. I really enjoyed it. I really needed to do this. Um, I did the first one and then I had already done one uh, one night when I was actually at Chapters having a coffee and uh, enjoyed it so much that uh, I decided, okay, I'm going to hit and do another one. Um, and I think it's, I think that's the, the thing about this. So the, the idea for me is that it just kind of lets me mellow out and relax. And I like adding my little pieces and constantly keep going just to see what I can build um, so that people look at it and they're like, oh, what is that all about, right? Like, this is interesting. It, it looks like buildings, but maybe it's not buildings. And maybe it's a life form on its own or maybe not, right? You know, kind of one of the situations that uh, as you're working on it, uh, it creates more, right? Uh, I start to see little stories in it and stuff like that. Uh, so I, I, I did this one, but I actually wound up doing, um, the total was five altogether in about a day or two's worth of work. And then um, I stopped and then I, I went on to some other stuff. But uh, if you guys like this, uh, please let me know. And I would actually go ahead and do more of these. Um, I, I think I will anyways. Uh, I think it's good for my brain. And I really like what I'm doing. So I think that's part of art, right? When you're really sitting down and kind of getting the groove on with what you're doing, it's worth it. It is absolutely worth it. So I did them all slightly different. Uh, you'll see that as you look through. So also what you could do is pick out which one you like and then just send a little message, you know, number one, number two, number three, number four, whatever, right? Uh, well, five all together, right? And uh, you could actually say, oh, okay, I, you know, I think that one was the coolest or, you know, you want to tell me why? That's great too. Uh, but every one of them I... Uh, I found it was uh, enjoyable just to try a little bit different. Uh, the first one was nice and bright. Uh, the second one that I used the watercolor markers, uh, a little bit more loose. Uh, and then I started getting into one that I did fairly tight. Um, and then one, um, I did a whole different background that time and created from that. Uh, yeah, so just uh, kind of fun to do. Also, in every one of them, I hid something. I just hid a little something there. And I want to see if you guys will spot that little thing, right? Um, and uh, again, that was a, a little signature piece for me. It was a little bit of fun. Um, I'm looking at the one that I'm doing right now here in front of you guys. And uh, I, I kind of like the fact that on the one side of it, it's ooh, bright colors. But then on the other side of it, we've got this kind of more factory look about it. But it's probably going to brighten up as I go. Um, I also think I like the bruised banana look about it too. Uh, yeah, that's what makes me think of right now the colors, you know. So, uh, But I like that as I'm going. It kind of goes from one side of the brain to the other side of the brain as I'm working on it. Because I do start generally, because I'm right-handed, on to the right-hand side. And then work myself over to the left-hand side. Um, Probably down the road, I could probably start to try to see if I can work from the left-hand side, go to the right-hand side, and see how that uh, makes a difference, you know? Uh, but, yeah, I'm really, really, uh, using an old word, digging these. Yeah, I am definitely digging these. Yeah, so, uh, and then every time I uh, sign my name, I would look at it again, and, uh, of course, I'd go back and add more pieces. Uh, oh, and then that little piece that I add that's extra is in there too. I can see that. Uh, but yeah, I, uh, I gotta be honest guys, if you have a chance, just sit down and it's like block on top of block or pipe on top of pipe and you just kind of keep working at it and, uh, you know, and seeing how it goes, right? But just blend your colors together, have some fun with it. Uh, yeah, you, you know, there's no rules, right? Um, so, you know, just like like I say just little blocks uh, normally when you're doing the near graphic you're actually you know doing this more uh, loose and moving situation and this maybe is a little stiffer but in an overall it isn't because yeah you're doing a little bit of control but then you add these colors that make it a little bit looser 
uh, on this one here, it definitely is a much more tighter situation than the first one. Um, again, um, I want to see what the difference is, you know, like, the, you know, are people attracted more to the looser ones? Are they attracted more to the tighter ones, right? Um, do the colors matter? That kind of stuff. So um, I'm having a lot of fun exploring with this one. So I think that's one of the things that you want to, uh, when you're an artist, you know, uh, if you find something like this, right, that you're doing, and you kind of see yourself going back to it, uh, and there's like faces, when I, I love doing faces too. That's another one, and blending them all together. Uh, but this particular one with the squares and the cubes and the whatever, um, yeah, just definitely gave me that relax because I think I was a little bit uptight uh, before I started. I was, um, I think I was in one of those not happy mo modes, you know, sometimes, and I needed something to kind of give me that release, and that's exactly what happens when you're doing stuff like this. There's a, an endorphins relief for sure, uh, and, uh, and it just kind of brings me a happiness, and uh, creating a world that isn't a world that doesn't exist that does exist you know the, kind of that feeling uh because oh okay that looks like this but it isn't that you know and then it's uh, as it builds you know it becomes more so you feel the story in it too right uh as to what's happening uh on the looser ones you know there's uh, a difference on that story too right that you see you know um uh, the thing, too, is um, I think maybe a little influence here is the fact that I'm from Hamilton, which is a steel city, and um, it, uh, um, you see it all around you, um, and it's, it's not always the prettiest thing, but it also has this unusual kind of beauty about it um, when you look at it sometimes, but it's also ominous, too. Uh, so I think um, I just kind of... As I say, I think it really goes back to more like a Lego uh, Tinker Toy. I think that's what they were called, Tinker Toys. But they were made out of wood. And you bought it, uh, it was in a cylinder. Um, and, that, and then you could, uh, you could add your own colors to it too because the, some of the pieces were not finished. And you can paint them if you wanted to too. Uh, I'd like to find some Tinker Toys and see what I could do with those. It'd be kind of fun. Yeah, create a world with Tinker Toys. Uh, anybody who knows what Tinker Toys is probably my age. Or if you don't, I don't know if they're popular anymore. I don't think they would be. Uh, but they should be. Yeah, if you think they're very cool. Uh, but, you know, any of that block building when you were a kid was just fun. And, you know, you go to somebody's house and their kids have got some blocks there. You probably start to pile them up a little bit beside you. And next thing you know, you're building something. Uh, yeah, this, this one... Um, kind of be honest I like I like it tight the way I'm doing it but it's also very relaxing even though it looks a little more uh, illustrated and tight um, it I think I kind of enjoy that type of stuff too but then again <laughs> the loose is just as much fun right that's the thing about life is you know one moment you're kind of in that mode of happiness and then another moment you might be a little bit sad um, you can't be happy all the time uh, but it's nice to know that you have something that will give back that energy to you. And I think that's exactly what happened with this. Um, with being a person that deals with dyslexia, ha having uh, times in my life where I was literally picked on and, uh, and uh, I had a hard time in school, um, I got called names, all that kind of stuff. I got beaten up one time really bad. Uh, but all of that stuff, um, I don't even know where I'm going with it, but when I'm doing stuff like this, it takes me away from that. And I, I feel like I'm, I'm back on the thing, but sometimes I get really, really hard on myself and sad and look at my work and think, you know, no, this isn't that great, but you know what? Um, I even forgot to mention this, um. Uh, It'll probably be, I'll mention it when I do my beginning and end, because I always do my videos, I do halfway, I do it backwards, and literally, 
by the time I'm finished, the last thing I do is the beginning and end of the video, so I wind up talking over stuff that I've already said. But this is the part, uh, again, that uh, kind of makes me happy is I got 4,000 subscribers. That is mind-boggling for me right now. Uh, you know, just the fact that there are people who want to sit down and listen to me gab or watch me paint or draw a picture of any type and, you know, make a comment and stuff like that. Um, it's it's mind-boggling. Yeah, like my, oh, my one video, my, uh, um, ah, here it goes Neurographic. again. Neurographic. Thanks, babe. That is why I married that woman. She's amazing. She's right there for me all the time. Uh, anyways, what I'm going to say is when I did my neurographic, I did it. It was just kind of a thing. I thought it was really interesting. And I thought, oh, wow, a great way to stimulate the mind. And it went massive. Um, what kind of numbers do we have? It's about 52,000. 52,000 people have watched that video. And, oh, man, it's... Uh, it's a beautiful feeling if you feel that you might have, it sounds really hokey, but you touched on a few people and you gave them a better day. Um, and I hope like this type of thing too, which I can't call it a neurographic art. It's <laughs> build the block uh, day, you know, like I'm just having fun. Oh, now here's the third one. And on the third one, I just slapped some colors, uh, like black, you know, in, in the background. And I wanted to see if I could give a different look. And in the end, it's kind of funny that uh, the background uh, kind of, the, what I started with kind of faded away. But it still did keep on building. And uh, again, I just took a brush with some ink on it and then just started building and building and building. And, uh, yeah, I, uh, really, really started to dig it, you know? Oh my gosh, there's an old word. Hey man, I dug it, I digged it, right? Um, but as you can see, uh, a little tighter too. Um, then, oh yeah, I actually used uh, a dipping pen there too. Um, I grabbed one the other day. Um, I thought that was going to be something I would start playing around with, the dipping pens. I've seen so many artists who do the dipping pen and, it just intrigues the heck out of me. Uh, but I am an impatient person, and the dipping sometimes makes me a little crazy because you can't get a line started. Uh, so I wound up buying um, a, uh, a fountain pen. And I gotta be honest, that one I really enjoyed too. So that's been kind of a new little friend of mine is my fountain pen. And so uh, again, uh, just having fun and the markers you know you love all the markers and stuff like that um, and uh, yeah so just giving different thicknesses and then being able to produce different textures uh, this one again I hit with a lot of the uh, paint markers too and uh, I gave a nice flat style to it that I liked uh, so yeah I just kept on working on that one too it was really fun uh, and uh, yeah this one built a little bit different uh, I, uh, I wanted to give a slight difference in depth, maybe, to it. So that's what I was kept trying to play with, right, uh, to, just to see. And then the color situation, yeah, I, I really like that because it uh, kind of looks a little, uh, I don't know, 60s feel about it, you know, uh, poster style look to it. But it also has a bit of a modern look to it, too, at the same time. Yeah, so it's it's working. I, I'm I'm liking it. And so I'm enjoying it. Uh, and then again, seeing the little bits of shade that come through the back to kind of add, make sort of like an extra window that you're maybe peeking through, that you're looking deeper into the situation, right? That uh, you've got a bit of foreground and background happening, but not too much, right? Because I like to kind of play that game of you know, is it flat? Is it uh, got a bit of depth to it? Right? Yeah. Yeah. So, again, the uh, colored markers just came through really beautiful, uh, made it fun. Um, again, I also mix my media all the time. Um, I, uh, I like the idea that if I can make the picture happen and if I have to use 10 different types of medium to get it happen, fine. I'm okay with that. Uh, 
And as I say, it uh, definitely took on a different vibe uh, in that because I, I started playing around with the idea that it was sitting on the top of something, that it was like uh, maybe a city uh, sitting on top of water. And yeah, see, when I started making these, looked like legs underneath, right? Uh, beams or whatever you want to call them. It wouldn't even be called beams. Beams would be up, right? Yeah. But as I say, the, the legs on the bottom, and it kind of started giving me that feeling of, uh, oh, maybe this is like a city, right? And uh, it's, it's on top of this water, right? And this whole world is up there, right? Uh, so, yeah, I kind of like the groove of that one. It uh, yeah, started to uh, build a little bit better, definitely that way. And then there's a little bit more of, like, it's so tight together that it's its, its own creature. You know? And, uh, yeah. So, as you can see... Um, yeah, I, I, I really I like the colors and, and the uh, kind of an emotion that it kind of gives and not, and those big sturdy legs that are holding it up. So yeah, I kind of like that cross between, like just a slight cross between that, a little bit loose but tight too at the same time, you know. And this one here is a bit tighter than that, uh, not too loose, you know, but just... Just the right amount. Uh, you see, like I like the idea that I even put looks like like supports coming from these big legs that are on the bottom, so that it doesn't you know fall over and break. You know, so kind of oil riggish looking kind of a feel to it. You know, and then yeah, slap the background into it. Uh, there's more like like I say the the idea of water and that. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, I hit with the uh, white pencil marker. You know, like a, No, just a, a white pencil crayon that I used uh, to give a bit of a different environment, too. So, oh, here we are. Uh, you're now looking at uh, all the different pictures and see if you can spot the thing in there that I added to every picture. Okay, guys? That actually went pretty well. So there you are, folks. Um, block building. And uh, relaxing at the same time. You know? It, it, it's worth it. It's fun. Uh, kind of takes me a bit childhood background for some reason. I love it. I love it. Uh, so, anyways. Uh, it's just been an eventful time in the last little while. So, thank you so much again subscribers <laughs> I can't believe it um, and uh, people actually wanting to see what I do that's that's wonderful um, have a great day um, as I always say be cool like a big bull